Today, I'm pretty excited because I'm heading off to compete in the fourth leg of the UK Vert Series at Mount Hawk Skate Park in Cornwall. Last month, I took a trip up to Cardiff to take part in my first skateboard contest. I found the day to be pretty exciting and pretty nerve wracking. I achieved my goal of skating for 30 seconds and thus putting down a 30 second run. And I managed to come 13th out of 17 riders. I learned a lot from the experience. And the main thing was that I felt I didn't quite have enough preparation going into the Cardiff competition. This was partly because I was in the process of moving, so I didn't have a lot of time on my hands, and also I didn't live that close to a vert ramp. However, now I've moved, the vert ramp is just round the corner, and I seized the moment to do a bit of practice and preparation. The main thing I focused on was individual tricks, trying to get my grinds a little bit more solid. Also trying to get my airs a little bit more convincing. The main battle I had was throwing caution to the wind and really trying to go for it and push the limits, whilst at the same time maintaining some level of health and safety so I didn't come a cropper, nail myself and miss the competition altogether. The competition format was the same as Cardiff. So three 30 second runs with your best run to count. This time out, I was in heat number two. So I found that gave me just a little bit more time to acclimatize and warm up. I also knew a little bit more what to expect from my experience of Cardiff. However, alarm bells started ringing because in Cardiff, I harnessed some of that nervous energy and also a bit of that beginner's luck. And I reckon that got me through with the adrenaline to achieve that 30 second run. This time out, I was feeling remarkably relaxed and that really did whoo, make me focus, stay on target. So I went with the strategy of being quite conservative in my first run, stay below the coping, but try and put down that 30 seconds of skating. With this conservative approach, I managed to get my 30 second run down on the first time of asking. This took some of the pressure off and I found I could go into my second run with gay abandon, willy nilly, see if I could push the envelope. Unfortunately, I overcooked one of my air attempts, <laughs> did a big bobby spooner out of the back. The board went whooshing up the ramp, hit the rafters. The most terrifying thing was trying to avoid the board on the way back down. Luckily, the only damage done was to my pride and to my ego. So in an attempt to win back the favour of the judges, I jumped back on and chanced my arm with a little bit of a Burt Slide revolt. Again, in the third run, I overcooked my attempts, had to bail. So luckily I had that first run in the bank and that was the one that counted towards my score. 
Overall, I was delighted to have banked 30 seconds of skating in that first run. I was a little bit disappointed that I didn't manage to capitalise on that and push the amplitude up a bit on my second and third runs. And overall, I was 11th out of 15 riders. There were plenty of highlights throughout the competition. One that will stick in my mind was my mate Neil Hester dropping into a competition sized vert ramp in competition conditions for the first time. Neil was up there really battling himself and the crowd went wild when he managed to drop in. Oh my gosh. it for this video. Many thanks to everybody concerned for making the Mount Hawk Vert competition such a corker. If you want to get involved, the last event is at Creation in Birmingham. Big congratulations to Chris Hudson, Sean Goff and Greg Nowick for taking out the podium spots in the Masters division. They were laying down back-to-back -back amazing tricks just like this all day long. If you're new to the channel, feel free to hit subscribe. I make new videos every week. You can also follow me on Instagram at John Bishop Skate. As ever, my name's been John Bishop and I'm a middle-aged guy learning how to skate.